Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to add a constant line to your uh, bar graph and also make it dynamic so that you can change uh, the constant line based on whatever that you would like to. For example, uh, I have a slider over here which I've created using the what if parameter. So right now I've set the value at 10. So you will see that the constant line has now changed to 10 and based on your requirements and based on the feedback that you get from different people viewing your dashboard, you can, they have the ability to change the constant line based on their requirement, right? So this is how, uh, this is what we will be learning today. And uh, so let's get started. Uh, for now, I'm just going to quickly copy this into a new page and then uh, uh, get rid of the constant line for now. Okay, so we now have a, a a simple bar graph which we will be starting with right so uh, all you, what you need to do is you need to select the uh, chart over here and then go into the uh, analytics tab under constant line you will have to click on add so when you click on add you will see a value over here let's set 10 for now and then change the color to this maybe let's change this to black for now okay and then there are different options which you can choose you have dashed you have solid you have dotted so let us stick with dashed for now and then position whether it's in the front of the bar uh, graph or it's at the back of the back, uh, bar graph, right? So let's leave it at uh, front for now. Uh, and now what we will now do is uh, we will go and uh, create a what if parameter. So let's go to the modeling tab and click on new parameter. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to name this as uh, let's say uh, dynamic constant line okay and then i need a whole number my minimum value is uh, let's say zero and my maximum let's say it's 30 and increment i want a one as an increment for example i, I want this to be one two three four five uh, so if you change this to two it will go from two four six eight ten right so this is basically the increment i'm going to leave it at that and then click, uh, make sure this is selected and then click on okay so a slicer will get added onto your uh, dashboard over here and uh, let us change this and then let's move this to let's say 15, 14 for now okay and then just go to the format tab and make sure that it is click yeah, make sure you go to the format tab and click on bring to front so that it always stays in front of the uh, bar chart that we have over here now it's time for us to link the constant line that we have created so let's go to the uh, analytics tab so under the constant uh, uh, line over here, let's click on this conditional formatting over here and then let's click on field value. Okay, make sure this is on field value and then let's go to the dynamic constant line that we created and select dynamic constant line value. Okay, and then click on okay. So the moment you click okay, you will see that okay, let us uh, quickly change this. I think this didn't work. So I'm going to say bring to front again. Okay. So now I have this. So the moment I clicked OK, you see, you notice that it jumped from 10 to 14. So let us change this to, let's say, 5, right? And you will see that this is now moving to 5. So yes, so this is how you create a dynamic uh, constant line where you are giving the user uh, the power to change the constant line based on their requirements. So I hope you have learned something new. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.